Welcome back to another episode of Bourbon Bender. Today I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I just want to address something to do with the current state of the bourbon industry and kind of just voice my thoughts and opinions on something I find to be pretty crazy. By now I'm sure that you've heard of Van Winkle, the Buffalo Trace bourbon brand has released a 12 year old Lot B vintage to the marketplace and they're asking a pretty staggering amount of money for each bottle of 750 milliliters. With a price coming in at $1,776.99 retail, essentially $1,800 for a single bottle of bourbon after tax and shipping is included. It's worth noting that this is currently the most expensive bourbon whiskey available at caskers.com and while it isn't currently the most expensive whiskey on the market in general it's an astronomical price for this particular bourbon especially considering that in as little as four years ago in 2015 the exact same bottle of bourbon the 12 year old van winkle sold for a suggested retail of 59.99 which means in just four short years, the price has multiplied by 30, which is a lot. Now more than likely, the $1,776 price tag is more or less an homage to Colonel James E. Pepper, the famed master distiller of the old Pepper Distillery in Lexington, Kentucky, a man credited with the creation of the strip stamp, which you see right here on this bottle, a little invention that allowed whiskey distilleries all over Kentucky to bottle on premise of where the whiskey was actually distilled. Something that played a huge role in the Bottled and Bond Act of 1897, which later came about permitting all distilleries to bottle on premise, rather than having to go to a third party to bottle, which potentially could cause issues because they could water down the bourbon or alter its contents or put a different bourbon in the bottle that wasn't the intended bourbon, and it's just bad for business. It's also worth noting that Colonel James E. Pepper was an integral part of the creation of the Old Fashioned Cocktail. Originally crafted in his honor at the Penn Dennis Club in Louisville, but later made famous by the Waldorf Astoria in New York City. All that aside though, this price is extremely high for an individual bottle of bourbon, especially considering how much the price has gone up in such a short amount of time. Now it goes without saying that Buffalo Trace products, especially the Van Winkle series, carry a certain amount of clout in the industry and they've definitely earned the respect that they have. However, that name recognition has allowed them to artificially spike the price of a lot of their products on the market, making it harder for people who just like drinking bourbon like me and you to actually enjoy their products and almost adopting an elitist model as far as what you're able to get and who's able to drink it. And it's, in my opinion, it's kind of unfortunate because it really doesn't do a whole lot to promote customer friendly relationships or nor do they really appreciate their audience because they're not really catering to them instead they're adding these ridiculously high price points to make it scarcely available but again drive up the demand for it because it's so hard to get like a luxury vehicle or something like that this is a luxury spirit it is one of the most expensive spirits on the market but this video isn't really about Pappy Van Winkle or the whiskey or whether or not I think that this price is justified. Coming up, like just to be completely honest, I really don't think it is justified. I think that while the Pappy Van Winkle and the Van Winkle series and the Buffalo Trace Antique series in general are very good bourbons, I can never justify spending that kind of money on something that I'm going to consume one night and it is going to leave my body the next day. This video more so is going to be just me drawing attention to how expensive that truly is for one individual bottle and going over the bottles that you could purchase with that amount of money. Instead of buying just one bottle from Buffalo Trace, you could buy a multitude of different bottles, which I'm about to list right now. Instead of running out and buying this super expensive bottle just to add to your collection, consider the fact that sometimes you can build quantity and get like really quality spirits for not a lot of money. And while they don't have the same name and bragging rights as the Van Winkle series does, the bottles I'm about to mention are actually incredibly good and well worth your attention. All of this in jest, of course. So just some of the things that you could buy with $1,800 rather than buying a Buffalo Trace Van Winkle 12 year, you could buy 45 bottles of Buffalo Trace, their regular straight bourbon whiskey, which although becoming slightly more scarce and a lot of marketplaces starting to use an allocation process as far as getting these bottles into the hands of retailers for us to purchase, is still a very good bourbon for the cost. And I would say arguably on 
like almost indistinguishable from the 12 year in my experience running tastings of these spirits. And instead of buying one 12 year Van Winkle, you could get 45 of them. You could also get 45 bottles of Woodford Reserve, my personal favorite. Basically a year's supply of bourbon for the cost of this $1,800 bottle. Or you could get 30 Woodford Double Oak bourbons, which are also very good. An excellent product from the Brown Foreman Company, available on a quasi yearly basis but basically just a much smoother version of the traditional Woodford Reserve for just a little bit more money, but you could get 30 of those bottles, just to put it into perspective here. You could get six sets, which includes two bottles of the Woodford Master Collector series that they release every single year. Some of them age in like sherry casks, some are in brandy casks, some in rum casks, they're always very interesting. And they release those on a yearly basis as well, typically in sets of two, but you could get six of them. That's one for you and five of your best friends to add to their bourbon collection which is a really good deal. Hell, you could even buy six sets of them, drink two of them right then and there, share two of them, and then have two to hold on to for your collection for years to come. You could also buy two bottles of Old Weller CYPB Weeded Bourbon, also a Buffalo Trace products, part of the Antique series, and you could get two of them for the price of one 12 year. Now, while that's also a pretty elevated price point, you shouldn't be surprised because it is a Buffalo Trace product. You could buy two bottles of Old Fitzgerald nine year bottled and bond and one bottle of Michter's 10 year single barrel. Both very excellent options and something that would look great on any shelf and would be excellent to share with your fellow bourbon aficionados and have the bragging rights of having these bourbons in your collection because they are rare and hard to find, but you could add three bottles to your collection right then and there. You could buy the entire Orphan Barrel collection, including the 21 year old rhetoric, the 25 year old rhetoric and the Forge and oak 15 year all very good bourbons and very hard to come by you can get them off caskers for actually a little less than eighteen hundred dollars so you would save money on that deal maybe buy a cool hat or a t-shirt with it <laughs> you could buy six bottles of angels mv cask strength port finished bourbon one of the most sought after bourbons on the market you could buy six of them you could drink one share the other one store the other one be buried with the other one and still have two left over just for shits and giggles or you could buy 45 bottles of good old fashioned Angel's Envy Straight Bourbon Whiskey, which is a very good whiskey on its own as well. You could buy 20 bottles of Blanton's, 36 bottles of 1792 Full Proof. You could also buy 45 bottles of 1792 Single Barrel or 50 bottles of 1792 Small Batch. You could buy 20 bottles of the Willits Pot Still Reserve Whiskey or 20 bottles of the Redemption 9 Year Barrel Proof, which is a very sought after bourbon this year, or 20 bottles of the Hill Rock Solera Barrel Aged Bourbon, which is also very sought after and an excellent bourbon. 20 bottles. You could buy the entire Breckenridge catalog twice. <sighs> or I guess you could just saddle up and buy yourself a bottle of the 12 year old Pappy Van Winkle because it's an excellent whiskey and great bragging rights for your friends and fellow aficionados. That mortgage for a house will just pay itself this year. Don't worry about it. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. I apologize for the long absence between videos since I finished the Christmas special last year. I promise there will be more videos coming out soon. It's just a matter of finding time and balance. There's been a lot going on in my life and not to make excuses, but I promise I have been building up my collection. I'm still buying bourbon. If you're interested in keeping up with me when I'm not making videos, please go and follow my Instagram page. It's at the bourbon bender. That's usually where I post what I'm up to, what new whiskeys I've come across. It's also a great way to start a conversation with me and kind of talk about bourbon and you know, get into it on there. It's my favorite social network platform to use, so go and check it out for sure. If you want to see more videos like this, just talking about the industry, please leave a comment below. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of what I put out. More videos on the way. My name's Johnny, I am the Bourbon Bender, and I will see you guys later.